one. We're all one with the heavens and the moons and the stars and the trees and the folk that are getting on our nerves. <laughs> We're all one. All a drop of water from the magnific magnificent ocean of God. So as we take a moment and get quiet and close our eyes, I want to invite us to think about somebody in our life who's been giving us a little bit of grief. Somebody in our lives who we've had some problems with. Somebody in our lives that we've withheld some love from. And I want to invite us in this moment now to recognize that that person is a highly evolved spiritual being who is willing to take on a disguise, a disguise much different than their own true selves, a disguise much different than the love which they really are. And they are willing to take on a disguise and get fully immersed in that disguise to come into your life, to help you see beyond the illusion. to help you love not just because you like how somebody looks or how they treat you or how they make you feel but they can help you to love in spite of and as we love those who don't even seem to deserve it. We're activating the Christ within us. And we think about all the things that we've done. All the times that we've strayed. All the mistakes that we've made. All the times that God told us to go right and we went left anyway. But God still loved us. Didn't judge us, but loved us. And that God continued to call us home to ourselves. And so we, as we hold the vision in our mind of someone with whom we've had difficulties. We take this moment of sobriety and we see them not as their disguise. We see them in the light of God's truth. And we see that in essence they are God. And we allow a tender space for them in our hearts. And even if circumstances are such where it's wisdom to love that person from a distance, we still hold a generous space in our heart for them. We behold them in their innocence. And we thank God for the opportunity to exchange experiences with this person. We thank God for the opportunity to see all the things coming up in us that were not 
in love and light and peace and compassion. And we have compassion for ourselves, for holding judgment against our sister or against our brother. Recognize that in judging them, we were really judging ourselves. But we set ourselves free and we set them free. And we open our hearts for the full flow and the full manifestation of God's love active and alive in our lives. And we receive that as we maintain the awareness of our sister and our brother's innocence, that a miracle is able to take place. That in spite of their forgetting who they were, we remember who we are. And because we remember who we are, we remember who they are. And like the choir at Agape sings, and, and we've sung it even here at TLC, we can hold the space in our hearts where we can say, I love myself so much that I can love you so much that you can love you so much that you can start loving me. Let us repeat. God loves me. And I love God. I love myself. And I love everybody. And everybody loves me. What's the use of love? 